legendary. Welcome to another video guys, I'm Crystal5 and today I'll give you a Hearthstone card backs guide for 2019. I will show you all of the card backs you can still acquire and how you can get them for yourself and I will show you my top 5 favorite card backs of all time as well. Also, if you wish to see me outside of my natural habitat, I will finish off the video with some pictures of my trip to Venice, so you might want to stick around to the end. Remember to like the video if you liked it and drop a subscribe if you found it helpful, it really helps the channel a lot. Now let's get into it. Ok, so card backs are obtained by completing a certain task for a limited amount of time or unlimited amount of time. In our case we will be talking about the ones with unlimited amount of time since the others are not coming back, probably ever. We do see some exclusions for that rule from time to time for some, but that is very rare. Now let's see what I have in my card collection. Starting off with the random card back which was recently introduced to the game. This card back will pick a card back from the ones you owned for each game, which is a pretty cool feature. The first real card back is the Fireside. You obtain this one by playing free matches against other players at a Fireside gathering. It's not too hard to get, but if you live in a small town it could be a hassle. There are ways for you to get this one without really participating in a real Fireside gathering, but you can look into those on your own with a quick Google search. Next we have the card backs from finishing heroic modes on solo adventures. Here's the one from League of Explorers, this one's from the Karazhan, this is the Heroic Dalran Heist, you can also get a normal one from the normal run. And here's the one from Next Ramus and Black Rock Mountain. All of these will cost you money to get if you don't already have the adventures. In that case you need to buy them from the Battle.net shop or from the in-game shop and finish the adventures in Heroic, which is not an easy task, but it's definitely easier with all the new OP cards. I'm still missing Max and Blackrock, but I will probably get those two in the future, just so I can experience some of that early game solo adventure content. Moving down to the card backs from free to play solo adventures. Here's the card back from the Kobo's Catacombs dungeon run. This one's from the Monster Hunt. This one's from the Boomsday Puzzle Lab. And the Rumble Run. Fun fact, Ice Crown is the only solo adventure that doesn't award you a card back, but instead the Paladin skin Arthas. Not much to talk about the card backs from getting hero skins. You just throw 10 bucks at the screen and you get the card back and the hero skin. Here's the one from Medivh. Here's the one from Magni, and this one's from Illyria. If you want those, just go to the store and go nuts. I did say I was suspecting that the Priest skin Tyrande will make a comeback soon and Blizzard kinda gave a confirmation about that as well, so we will probably be able to obtain her car back soon as well. I'm guessing it would be a part of a bundle or just a regular 10 bucks skin you can get from the store, but it might be another Twitch promotion like the last one, so time will tell. Here is one of the card backs that did make a comeback and we were able to obtain it from the Fireside Festival this year, so we might see things like this happening in the near future as well for events like the Winter Veil vale too. Next we have the good old legendary card back. Wow, hardcore. Not much to say here, you just trade in your soul and you get it. Jokes aside, I really think this one needs an overhaul. I would love to see some different legend card backs for each year as well or even a feature where you can change the colors of different parts of the card back. Right now it just feels dull and not at all exciting, but I guess that's what they were going for. What do you guys think? Now let's see the device specific card backs. You get this one from logging into an Android device. You get this one from a PC. And this one is from using an iOS device. There is a way of getting all three of these just by tampering with the installation files from your game, but it's not exactly simple. I will put a link in the description of the video to a video from a YouTuber named Zox, who will show you how to do it. There is another device specific promotion from logging in from a Samsung Galaxy phone. You get this one from logging on to a Galaxy S6, S7 or Note 5 phone, or you can just get it from using an emulator, which again isn't exactly legal. I don't know the details, but Samsung is probably paying out of their pockets for each person who claims this reward, so do it at your own risk. You can also get it by logging in from a phone of a buddy of yours, but I'm not sure if one device can only give one of those promotions, but it's worth a shot. 
Mark of Kakara is a really unique card back and the way you unlock it is quite unique as well. It was added in the game not so long ago, so if you're a newer player, just ask a buddy of yours to equip this card back and play a game with you, so you can get it as well. As simple as that. Moving down to the card backs that require you to throw cash at the screen. This one and this one cost 20 bucks each and they're from WoW. Same goes for the one from Overwatch. For the StarCraft one, I'm not sure you can still get that promotion, but correct me if I'm wrong. And the Warcraft free card back will set you back with 40 bucks. There is also a free promotion from Heroes of the Storm. There you just have to reach level 15 in the game. And the last card backs you can technically get are the ones from special events. The Dollar on Flame comes from participating in special University Canadian and USA tournaments. It was also awarded for attending the finals of Heroes of the Dorm in April 2015, 16 and 17. The Power Core is awarded for attending or participating in approved esports events, but I'm not sure where you can check those. It was also awarded to attendees in BlizzCon 2015. Thrill of Victory is also rewarded for attending special approved esport events. And the last one that is also probably the hardest one to get is the Golden Celebration. You obtain this bad boy by participating in selected esports events such as championship tour stop events and you need to finish in the top 128 players. Quite rare indeed. Well technically the last card back you can still obtain is the one from the Thelms of Terror bundle, but you don't really need me to tell you about that. So these are the still obtainable card backs. Let me know if you think I missed any. Now let's see my top 5 Hearthstone card backs. At number 5 I'm placing the secret level. Here you go. This is the first Hearthstone back I really liked and I obtained it only 3 months after I started playing Hearthstone, so it's a bit sentimental. I did play a lot of Diablo 2 back in the day as well and it does look pretty dope, so I must include it in my list. At number 4 is the Legend card back. I know it doesn't look amazing and it's not flashy, but as any player you just want to have this one and getting it with your first Legend is pretty amazing. Even though I don't really use it anymore, it's still nice having it. At number 3 is the card back I'm currently using, the Staff of Origination. It feels cool playing it in a League of Explorer themed expansion and it's not too easy to obtain, so the swag points cannot be ignored. At number 2 I'm placing Azerod is Burning. There it is. This is a Hearthstone card design done right, and it really does scream Hearthstone. I do wish we got a only Horde or only Alliance card back as well, since there are a lot of hardcore only one side fans out there and I'm sure a lot of people would even pay good money for something like that. And at number 1 it has to be the Golden Celebration. This is the Rolls Royce of Hearthstone card backs by far. It looks really cool and it does say a lot about the player with it as well, so it would be quite the privilege owning this bad boy. Anyway, let me know what are your favorite card backs in the comments below. Now, as promised, here are some moments from our trip to Venice. Enjoy! So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this card back guide and if you did, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Check out my champion skin guide as well if you want to see what skins you can still obtain. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Crystal5, and I'll see you in my next video.